everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be bringing you through my entire desk setup that i use for gaming streaming and studying and go through all my hardware all my peripherals and all the things and tech that i have on my desk and that i use and if you're interested in any of the products that you see here i'm going to leave a link to them in the description below all right let's get into it So I bought this desk from IKEA, it's one of those modular desks where you buy the tabletop, the legs and the storage separately. So I got this 140 by 60 centimeter tabletop in the stained oak colour and obviously a matching Alex drawer and matching shelves. I think the desk is a really good size and it's super sturdy and has a lot of space for me to do my work, especially even with a lot of stuff on my desk. And as a student, storage space is really important. So I have a bunch of stuff here like miscellaneous stationery, books, and some tech that I would like to have on hand. So to be honest, the desk works absolutely how I want it to. It's just the right amount of space. You can't go wrong with IKEA desks and I'm really happy with the purchase and how it looks. So for my chair, I bought this from Ikea. It's extremely comfortable, especially when I'm sitting down for long hours. It has a lot of adjustable pieces to it. You can adjust the armrests up and down. You can also adjust the backrest up and down. Of course, your usual height of the chair, as well as the distance the cushion is from the backrest if I just like slide it forward you can see here and if I pull the lever you can move back super comfortable I really love it also matches the colors in my room so I always get a good chair especially if you're sitting down a lot yeah so if you're wondering where my PC is truth is I don't have one it's a gaming laptop this is the ROG Strix G15 this is my capture card, which I use for my Switch. I think it streams 180p. My friend got it for me for my birthday for my Switch here, which is currently docked, so that I can stream my Switch games and just play it here on my monitor. A lot of people ask me why I did opt for a gaming laptop over a PC. In my old setup, I really didn't have that much space on and below my desk, so I really didn't see anywhere to put it. Um, that's not to say that I don't want a PC, but I'm really happy with how this is working for me now and I don't really see myself needing a PC but I'm maybe considering it in the future and running editing softwares, high graphics games, FPS games or having lots of tabs and applications open it still handles it pretty well so no issues whatsoever, I'm really happy with it and really it's just a good gaming laptop so I run a two monitor setup, as you can see here, mounted on a Haymix gas spring dual mount monitor arm. This vertical monitor here is a Samsung CF390. It's 75 hertz and 23.8 inches. My primary monitor here, this is the Acer EI2, also 23.8 inches and has a 144 hertz refresh rate. I'm not too fussed on refresh rates or color accuracy, so these two were pretty cheap. I got them both on discount price, and still the visuals look great, especially on my main monitor, and they run FPS games and any other softwares pretty smoothly. So for my keyboard and mouse, I have the SK61 by Skylong or Epo Maker. There's a few brands that make this keyboard. It's in the Panda design, as you can see, um, and has Gatoron green switches. They don't sound that bad, but um, could use some mods. The great thing about it is that it's hot swappable, so I can change the switches out pretty easily. It has great RGB um, and a few options to choose from, especially the um, interactive ones. And it really is pretty good 60% keyboard and the great thing about it is that it's not too expensive it's not one of those really expensive mechanical keyboards but it's not too cheap where your quality is you know lacking 
For my mouse, this is a Logitech G305. It's more on the cheaper end in terms of gaming mice. I think it was around $70 when I got it. It looks really clean. I really like it paired up with this keyboard here. It's lightweight and also has, you know, these two side buttons here and a DPI button. It's, I think it's great for really any use, even if it's just for office work or study. So if there was anything I were to recommend from this video, it would be this mouse. Moving on to my audio, I have the HyperX Quadcast as my microphone on this newer boom arm. This HyperX mic is really great. It has a gain dial as well as a dial on the back that changes the um, polar patterns. It's worked well for me. It's a bit expensive. It's more in that mid price range. It is a great mic, however, I do think you could get better for a bit less or a bit more, especially just a good cardioid or shotgun mic. And I think that would benefit you the most if you're a gamer or a streamer, because all these polar patterns really aren't things you're going to be using. But it is still a great mic. It's worked me great over the like two years that I've had it. So I may be looking at something to upgrade for the future. Moving on to the headphones, this is the HyperX Cloud Core, I believe. It's more in that low to mid price range, and it is pretty good. It's comfortable and I really like it, but the audio quality isn't that great. You get what you pay for, really. I do like how you get a volume dial here, so it has great battery life as well. So it's a really great headphone set, especially for gaming, but if I am looking into something more for editing, I use my other set of headphones. So if I'm doing editing or anything that I really need to um, have good audio for, I use my Bose Quiet Comfort SE. I also got these on a discounted price. They're really great. The noise cancelling is good enough for me. They look good as well. Um, and these are more to like my day-to-day -day use headphones, especially for school or just listening to music. So this is my 2020 MacBook Air. It's I use this for my schoolwork. It's nice to have my main gaming computer and my school computer separate. Um, keeps things organized and it's also like a mental thing having that separation. But for editing videos, I like to edit longer videos or gaming videos on my PC since it has more storage and obviously I'm directly recording um, games from this PC. But in terms of vlogs and other stuff like that, I like to use my laptop. It's convenient, especially since they're both Apple and I can pretty much bring this around me anywhere. So it's nice to have something portable um, and to edit my videos on. Over here, I have my lamp that I also got from Ikea. It has like a nice Japanese oak zen kind of thing, which I really like. I also got a color changing light bulb in it, which is controlled by that remote over there. Just behind it, I have my printer. I print out a lot of things, especially for assignments. It's nice to have this in my room handy. So yeah, just moving on from this corner, I just have some random stuff here. It's more empty. <laughs> I have a little plant. I got this thing from Korea. It's supposed to be a phone and AirPod charging dock thing, so you just put your, your cables through here. But um, my ones didn't really fit for some reason, so I just have it here for now. And besides this little piece of decor I have, I have my desk lamp. Um, it's pretty bright staring into it, but if I do have this camera on, it's nice lighting to have on my face just to brighten things up, but it's more so when I'm working in the dark, doing schoolwork or anything like that, just to have my workspace lit up for me. Over here, I just have one more plant um, and a coaster. So yeah, that is my 2024 desk setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that it's given you somewhat some inspiration for your own setup. It was really fun building this. I wish I could have um, filmed it, but this was way earlier, like, two years ago when I started um, building this up together. But hopefully in years to come, I might start changing things up and that will be a journey 
to bring you guys along. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out with making these type of videos. So take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.